Hello, um, so this is not the video I had planned for this week. That's not the operating system I wanted either. Thank you, Windows. This is not the video I had planned for this week. But we're doing it anyway. So unfortunately, for some reason, Ubuntu does not want to boot at all. Meaning I have... I've got to do this manually. So, did I just select the wrong operating system? I did, didn't I? It's going to be a miracle if Ubuntu boots. Are you actually going to boot? Let's find out. Let's give it a couple of seconds. No, so it's not. It would have booted by now. Right, okay, so. Let's try this again properly. Actually try and boot from the bloody thing. Off. On. Spam that key, pick up my drink. Have a sip of caffeine. This thing's I'm no longer allowed alcohol for the time being. I'm not allowed alcohol for the next three weeks, apparently. Right, okay, so. You were your oh, Okay, good. Right, so. This isn't the dip. I didn't pick Debian 11, I picked Debian 12. Uh, evidently, I picked the wrong version of Debian. However, this I know this will work. So, English, United Kingdom, British English. Plus, I like Debian 11, so this works. Now, this isn't a virtual machine, this is actually my own hardware. Like, normally when I do this, I go, ooh, let's you do it in a virtual machine. No. This is actually my own hardware. I am doing this on bare metal because my OS doesn't want to work. Luckily for me, and I do genuinely mean luckily, I, I copied everything out of my home folder last week. So I'm incredibly lucky. Host name is going to be Nick. Next. Uh, this will be the password, I'm going to have to stick them lock on. Righty ho. So it's just going to be Nick. Nick out Nick. Yes, continue. Okay, so now this is just going to detect the disks that it needs to detect because on my other monitor it doesn't want to bloody work because, I don't know, the installers don't like it. Anyway, so I have yet to run, I personally have yet to run Debian on my... What are you talking about? Use entire disk, continue. I wish to use team, so NVMe 0 and 1, CT is the Windows. Okay, my 4 terabyte drive, hard drive is not currently plugged in because I unplugged it for this particular reason. All files in one partition, I don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, that, oh, my hard drive isn't plugged in. Oh, hang on. Can I plug my 8 terabyte hard drive back in? I mean, I probably could. Alright, hang on. Here's what we're going to do. 8 terabyte hard drive, where are you? There you are. We're going to start this again. We're actually going to make a separate home partition. On. We are actually going to go with a separate home partition this time. Because I don't normally do that, but I kind of need to now. <laughs> I need to know. I don't know what's going on. Right. Let's try this again. 
Ms. Love, I've just seen your comment, mate. Um, I've done nothing. <laughs> I just tried to boot to it. And... It doesn't want to. I, I don't know why. English, UK. British English. Yes, please. Let's go through the process. Come on, it's not that hard. Right, so, once it's finished detecting the hardware, okay, there's the Ethernet, ENP8S0. That will get IPv6 anyway. Right, come on. Right, so, host name will be Nick. We don't want a domain name. I need to make sure that my uh, caps lock is on. My caps lock, num lock. Continue, and then Nick, Nick. Bada bing. Right, detecting the disks. Okay, please hurry up. So yeah, if, if this video, if this sounds dodgy, it's because it's actually recorded on the camera, as I'm sure you can tell. Right. Okay, I want to use entire disk of team, team, yes, team, a separate home partition, continue. I wish to have a separate home partition, guided partitioning, on my 8 terabyte drive. Right, I want a separate home partition, please. Okay, screw it. Screw it, right, guided partitioning. We'll just do, we'll just use the entire free continuous spot. Go back. De detect disks. Right, let's start again. You'd think there'd be an easier way of doing this, of, u of using a separate home partition. You'd think there would be. You'd think there would be. Right, go back. Configure the clock next. Okay, set up the partitioner. Guided partition continue. I want to use the entire disk of team continue all files in one yes write changes to the disk and there's no there's no way to back out of it so whoopsies right partitions formatting okay I'm gonna try and focus this a bit better because I've realized it's not exactly all the way in focus there we go uh, I, I'm using manual focus at the minute because it's sat on bendy leg tripod so that's why it might look a bit sketch so this is all in real time there's no speeding up there's no none of this business it's just all going as is anything you hear is what you hear anything you see is what you see <sighs> just my luck eh just my bloody luck right so it's now going to install the base system bearing in mind this is coming off a USB 2 USB stick going into a USB 3 port through the my new 5 quarter inch expansion bay. Bearing in mind, this is actually install, installing faster than the virtual machine I did. Which is annoying because, Deb, well, sorry, the Debian 12 virtual machine I did. Is that this is going faster than that, which I will say is rather annoying. However, it's not running through a virtual machine, it's bare metal. It is bare metal. What I can do is, after this is done, show you the install process for NVIDIA drivers, but that'll be for... 
another video. Yes, you still need to look at live selection packages, some may be missing. If you're reasonably good at the connection, use Ramirez suggested. Yes, continue. United Kingdom. We're going to do ftpukdebian.org. Continue. What I will do is I now need to do a few things. First things first, whilst we're waiting for this, I would like to thank, where is it, where is it, where is it? I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank Ray from Katy, Texas for giving £10 towards the Buy Me A Coffee, which puts, will buy me a coffee project, which is towards getting a stream deck. And I would like to thank my channel members. My channel member list is growing and you could become one of them and you get a little badge next to your name that says I'm better than you. Because everybody likes to say that. Anyway, once, if I can actually see my channel members list on mo uh, YouTube mobile, which I don't think I can, can I? No, I can't, it's not good. YouTube studio, thank you. Right, so I'm just gonna load this up. Uh, no, we won't, I don't wanna be part of the popularity contest. I'm just gonna actually load this up on my phone. We're going with cinnamon. We are not a gnome family in this house. We use cinnamon only. Because cinnamon is the best and you cannot fight me on that. Continue to, continue to YouTube studio, please. Thank you. Right, I'd like to, uh, as I said, I'd like to th thank Ray from Katy, Texas for the buy me a coffee. And all, I would also like to thank the following members. Uh, Bed X, The Storm Zero, Hopkins Von Rabbitarius, Jacillo, Mislav, Vilmarie, and Von Garden. I'd like to thank you all very much for being channel members. Right, whilst we wait for this to... I wouldn't be here where I am. I don't know when that stopped recording. Yay. Okay, so in case it didn't in case it didn't catch it, I, I, would, I need to thank my channel members. Bed X, The Storm, Hopkins Von Rabbitarius, Jacillo, Mislav, Vilmarie and Von Garden. I'd like to thank, well, thank you all very much for being channel members. I'd like to thank you, thank Ray from Katy, Texas, for contrib contributing towards the wish list on Buy Me a Coffee. I'll link a link. I'll, I will leave a link to that in the description below. Right, because the camera decided to be dumb and said, "Oh, you stopped moving," when uh, there was clearly stuff moving. There we go. Ooh. I'm trying the best I can with this. So yeah, this was not going to be this week's video. This week's video was going to be what it's like to install NVIDIA drivers for your Linux operating system. Because a, an, a viewer who wishes to remain anonymous gifted me an RTX 3060 12 gig overclock, win, a, a gigabyte Windforce RTX 3060 12 gig overclock. It is a wonderful little graphics card, and I have absolutely kicked the snot out of it already, and it f still works. Like, I was absolutely kicking the snot out of it last night, and it flies. It has no issue. It, 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 it was taking everything I was throwing at it and going, okay, and... Uh, for temperature comparisons, in comparison to my RX 550, that thing... My, the RTX 3060 was getting absolutely kicked and used to the max. It didn't get above 68 degrees Celsius. My Radeon RX 550, on the other hand, would get would frequently get into the mid 90s, which is insane. And of course, when that thing is running with full fan at no and not and no load, the uh, when the RTX 3060 is running full low, uh, full fan no load, it gets as low as 28 degrees Celsius. Which, if you ask me, is pretty damn good. It might have been lower because I don't know how far down the temp the uh, temperature sensors will actually register to. But you know exactly who you are, for who gave me the graphics card. You are an awesome, awesome person, and I can't thank you enough for that, mate. Right, I will attempt to. There we go. Okay, so it's now just doing the final configuration and setting up. Yeah, this is much faster than the virtual machine was. But everything you are seeing here is raw, uncut. There's... 
Welcome to the life of me, where I break things just by using them. It is unfortunately a uh, fact of life. I'm only doing that to make to ensure that the camera doesn't stop recording because it likes to stop recording if there's no movement, apparently. So I can't use it for a bloody time lapse then. I was thinking I'm using it for time lapse. Now this is just going to configure. Install the Grub Bootloader, please, for the love of God, don't butcher the Windows drive. I will cry. Installation complete. Ah, remove the install media. Good. Okay. Out you come, PNY drive. Continue. What I am going to do is I am just going to absolutely spam the F8 key and then actually try and boot into the system hoping to hell it hasn't screwed me over why do I have two deb- oh why do I have two debians either way they both work nouveau unknown chipset that's good that means it's picked up the graphics card In an entirely unexpected set of, set of circumstances, I accidentally knocked over the camera. Oops. Did I remember to input my password correctly? I did! Good! Right. Okay. Display. You see here, lad, there's a incy we see problem here, Mike. Uh, that ain't it, Chief. Right. So we are having to go down the NVIDIA drivers route. Reject all download drivers. For the RTX 30 series, 3060, game ready driver, UK for Linux 64 bit production branch search download download additional where's the additional information no may sus users should also read the how to once you've downloaded the driver change the directory and then install the driver by running root as root dice okay right so open in Hang on, oh. open in terminal, SU, help her put in the right password. Okay, so we need to do CD downloads, ls hyphen la, cd double slash, cd user, How the bloody hell am I going to get here? Home nick down. Okay, so. Oh, did not mean to do that. So, CD home. CD nick. CD downloads. So, chmod plus x. That. Uh, dot slash. Dot, dot slash nvidia. What's funny is when I was uh, hitting back, you may have heard my motherboard go beep at me. Please exit X before installing for fur. Installation has failed, you may. <sighs> what do you mean? sh dot sl dot slash nvidia if you're running an x server please exit 
exit X before installing for further. Right, BI pseudo. We're going to do this the hard way, shall we? So, Nick all equals all, all, all. What do you mean? So unfortunately, this is telling me, even though I'm following the instructions correctly, it's not right. So, as root, so sudo sh, oh, okay, right. Open with. Oh. Right, come back here, open in terminal. sudo sh dot slash. H mod plus x sudo sh dot slash n the idia linux x86 underscore 64 dash 535 dot 104.05 run This is getting annoying, I know. I N U. Nvidia Linux x86645351040.run. Oh, five dot run. Must be run as root. Pseudo. It literally says to run it as root. Open. Run. Right. Terminal. Update. What? What do you mean? Software, software and updates. Other software, get rid of the bloody CD-ROM. Let's try this again, shall we? Right. Okay, now this should work. Okay, so. Pogo works. And so does the system speak. Right, okay, so. Solo app install NVIDIA drivers. Additional drivers, why didn't I think of that? Nope, because it's not here. Displays, settings, no, okay. Display, no, drivers. Okay, thanks. See the readme further instructions. Okay, please just installing. Right, what am I gonna do? You want me to inst Right, I'm gonna give this one more crack and then if it's not gonna work, we're not gonna we're gonna to... 
It is there. Okay. What do you mean, run that? It's not going to run that. Okay, ch mod plus x that. So now if I do, sh sudo dot slash nvidia. Right, fuck it. Let's actually read this, shall we, this time around? Yeah, this is that's signing. I don't want to sign the bloody thing. I want to install. Other features of the installer. Right. Hyphen, hyphen, UI, none. What do you mean? Please run dot slash and video. Why is it doing that? Before you begin, terminate an OpenGL note, possible to sum OpenGL. You set the default run level on your system, such as boot VGA console, not directly. Uh, let's set up use a new void driver, just disable it. Once after you've installed down, yeah, yeah, I tried to do that, but it won't. See, it doesn't extract anything at all. It will also appear itself to use a bin in home. View hidden files. File system. Give me that. User bin. It doesn't. Right, see, it doesn't actually expose anything at all. So, what we're going to have to do is go back, 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 back here. Terminal. Extract. Extract only. Right, okay, so if we now come to downloads, we have this. Where's the bloody installer? Make self to SH, but. Right, we're gonna call it here, because this is getting ridiculous. I'm. We'll restart it once, just, just to be on CFSR. Just to see if it's me being dumb. It shouldn't be this hard in video. This is as bad as bloody uh, uh, AMD drivers. They're both just as bad as each. They're both just as bad as each other. They really are. Right. Give me Debian. Thank you. I wish to install, or I wish to run Debian and have my bloody graphics card work as and you're not working. Nope. God damn it. Well, it fell again, so I'm going to call the video here. This is getting absolutely bloody redonkulous. This is getting redonkulous, it really is. And yes, my graphics drivers are installed. <sighs> right. Thank you to my channel members. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much. Goodbye.